when uh, Bernanke came out with his initial call about tapering, uh, markets fell sharply, particularly currency markets in Asia fell sharply, uh, focusing on countries uh, with uh, in, in a deficit position, so the Indias, Indonesias uh, in Asia. Um, and we saw a lot of hotter money uh, exit emerging markets worldwide, in, including Asian, Asian markets. My feeling today is that a lot of that hot money has, has actually left uh, Asian markets. Uh, so there's not that speculative element, if you like, that was present 12 months ago. Uh, will tapering have an effect? Yes, I mean, it has to worldwide. But I think in many ways that's anticipated in today's valuations. Uh, so at today's levels of valuation, uh, are, are we unduly concerned about tapering? Uh, no, we're not. I mean, it will happen on the day. It's going to have an effect, of course. Uh, but longer term, uh, looking at markets as they are valued uh, currently, uh, seems like quite a decent opportunity for long-term investors. Uh, the first question everyone asks uh, is, what's going on in China? Uh, what are the risks in China? For us as investors in equities in China, uh, we haven't seen that much growth uh, and we haven't seen that much opportunity in companies. If you look at what's been going on in the Chinese economy, it's been slowing quite dramatically uh, over the last few years. Uh, and is still relatively sluggish. Uh, what's happening in the financial system is of concern. Uh, so some of the lending that's gone on, uh, both within the banks and the uh, what are called the, the non-banking financial institutions, and it's very hard to work out the precise size of it. Uh, we think China has deep enough pockets uh, to smooth out uh, some of these issues, big issues, uh, but the pockets are, are, are indeed very deep and to a large extent uh, China has confined its problems within China. The, 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 the economy, the markets are, 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 are nowhere near fully internationalised. So I don't think it's going to cause a, a, a regional crash, but it's certainly not the initial hopes uh, post the, the Western crisis. Is China going to help bail out the rest of the world? No, it's not. So you shouldn't rely on China. Asia is part of the global economy. Uh, and the global economy is not having a great time either. Uh, so Asian growth is a percent or two uh, off its traditional levels. But I think when you look at it as an investor, uh, you're able to find world-class companies and companies that have just steadily got better year after year, uh, strongly financed, valuations that are reasonable valuations, 12, 13 times earnings, a bit of a dividend yield, uh, and short-term prospects of growth, but not stellar growth. So we're talking 7-8% uh, earnings per share growth uh, this year, uh, possibly going into 2015 as well. Uh, but then if uh, the economies worldwide pick up, uh, can you see it back to 10-15% growth? Yes, you can. Uh, and for us, that looks decent value at these levels.